my wrath for the drow's true enemies. Loth knows this, as does the matron mother of my own house. It is not for you to decide, male. I shall have your bloody heart ripped from your chest on the altar if you continue to speak. I call your bluff, arrogant one. Act and you risk war between your house and mine. How would Mother Ardele see that, I wonder? Woohoo! Solifane uh, stepping up to her, I like it. Alright. Well, Karen likes this not only on Solifane's behalf, that he's sticking up to this wretched little witch, but also, you know, the drow continue fighting amongst themselves, and that's just better for everyone else, really. It is almost worth it to silence your impudent tongue. If a handmaiden were to see you speak to me such, she would flay you open without a second thought. You should be so lucky to spawn a bitch. Oh, damn. Bah! I will listen to no more. Veldrin, meet me within my private quarters in the Female Fire Society Tower. Within one hour, Veldrin. Do not be late. Uh-oh. Private quarters. Female Fighter Society. Uh, well, we can't really... It, dismissing her would not be a good idea. Asking her, I mean, really, what would be the point? She wants to see us there? Kel uh, <laughs> Carrot has an imagination. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll be there. Good. You, Solafane, will wait until the matron mothers find another task to set you to. May it lead you to a gruesome death, worm. Ah, such a lovely pair. And Minsk levels up, becoming a level 17 ranger. He's even more snealthy, his saves have gone down, his thaco's gone down, and his hit points have gone up. Well done, Minsk. If we can find some excellent light armor for him, we can actually use some of his sneaking skills. Considering he's running around in dragon plate right now, though, uh, that's not really going to work very well. I wouldn't dream of refusing. However, we need to be in the female fighter uh, society within one hour, so it seems like we better go right there without delay. Okay, so female fighter society, uh, right there. It's oh, actually yes. fairly easy to get to. Alright, this is bound to be bad. Hopefully not too bad. We'll find out soon enough, I suppose. In we go. Just as I thought. And there she is. Hello. Ah, it is you again. You are you are lucky that my mood is improved, male. I was pondering having you tortured for my amusement, but the whim has passed. You needn't look so nervous, fool. If I desired you for intimate matters, you'd be naked and sweating already. No, I need you for something else. Phew. You are aware of my relationship with Solophane, yes? Oh yes, it's a healthy one at that. You need not, do not need to stare at me blankly. Our animosity is open and obvious. His insolence is beyond all endurance. I cannot tolerate it further without risking my position in Loth's hierarchy. But I also cannot take action that would be traced back to myself or my house without risking war. So you shall take action for me. You will kill Solophane. Again, another call for murder. Which Carrot is certainly not going to entertain, but he has to find a way to talk his way around this. Thing is, would he ask for a reward? And be mercenary about it, or just ask how he, she intends him to do this. Well, considering Fairy's attitude about appreciation for service, trying to take a mercenary approach to this really wouldn't be a fantastic idea. So he's going to just simply ask, "How would you propose I do this?" Trying to keep cool. Solophane has been given time off from his regular duties. You will find him in his quarters in the male fighter society, sulking, as is his wont. He will not be expecting you, but nor will he suspect your two true intentions, I imagine. He will greet you, and then you will kill him. Those in my house would be the first question for his death, but you, without allies of any house, can get away with his murder. Once you are done, take his... Hmm... 
Take his Pawafi cloak and bring it back to me here. It shall make an excellent trophy. That is all. Do you understand what I ask of you, Veldrin? Telling anyone will bring death down upon yourself. I shall keep your secret, if you keep mine. Hmm. Alright, so... How will Carrot do this? Well, he's not going to simply say he won't do it, because he has to at least make her think that he's working for her. Saying he has little choice in the matter, that doesn't seem very bright, because it makes him seem like he's just being coerced into it. And, uh, Fairy is the type who always wants to get her way. So, summoning up what acting skills he does have, which, uh, admittedly, have grown a bit more impressive, considering the amount of ruses the party has had to pull off over the course of their adventures, he would say, rather boldly, I understand, and I look forward to killing that arrogant bastard. It is good to see a drow male with a commendable lust for power. Continue this attitude, Veldrin, and things in Ustnatha will prove favorable for you. Go, then. You have three days to hunt down the fool and return with his cloak. Do not fail me, Veldrin. Despite what she says, Carrot, we may be able to use this situation to our advantage. Perhaps there is no need to kill Zolfang. Consider this, at least. Obviously not in earshot of her, and Carrot would readily agree with Jahira and share uh, that he plans to get around this somehow. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. Onward, then. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere. Rich that is a really awkward thing to say, Minsk, right after we were asked by someone to murder their former lover. Ugh, you, you really gotta work on your time in there, guy, because that, that's about as awkward as it really gets. <laughs> I mean, they're no, I know they're drow and all, but, ugh, just, just take it easy there, man. Okay. So, I guess we'll call this. Carrot and company have a choice to make. And it's really no choice at all, as far as he's concerned. But, anyway. Let's talk to him. Veltron, well, what are you doing here? The matron mothers have not given me another task so soon, have they? I was given leave to rest. Alright, well this is fairly easy for Kara to say. Harry sent me to kill you, Solifane, but I'm not going to do that. I see. It was only a matter of time before she acted, I suppose. No alliance of mine to any house could prevent the unseen dagger from plunging into my back. Fairy and I were lovers once. Oh yes, we could tell. Mother Ardalace felt Fairy care for me in a most undrow like fashion, and had her taken by the handmaidens. Hmm. They tortured her with tentacle rods, tortures I can only shudder at the thought of. When they were done with her, all that remained of Fairy was her ambition. And I, I remained only as a constant reminder of her weakness. I have been expecting this for a long time. So then, if you are not going to kill me, what do you propose that we do? Hmm. We could propose that he join us. But that's the thing, if he accompanied uh, along with us, Fairy would see that he, we, he was still alive. But perhaps we could just smuggle him out of here. We could just ask for the cloak and have him go into hiding, but... Let's propose this. You can join with us, Solifane, and leave this place. Join with you? Leave? To where? Chednasad? No. I can see that you do not mean that place. In fact... In fact, you are not from that place, are you? You are not, Drow. I should have known sooner, I think. Who are you, then? Why have you masqueraded yourself as a drow? Ooh. So he knows. But here, let's think about this. We're already betraying Fairy. 
And if Fairy finds out about it, we're basically uh, as good as dead. We have to leave, essentially. He knows who we are. He could easily report us if he wanted to. Hare does not want to kill him. Because he's expressed sentiments that are very undrow like as well. Carrot is going to take a major risk and tell Solovane exactly what's going on here. My name is Carrot Luray, and I'm a surface human. I have been sent here to retrieve the stolen eggs of the silver dragon, Adelon. I know a little of this. The matron mothers claim the great silver dragon guarding the entrances to the surface elves' temple would no longer be a hindrance. In fact, it was Mother Ardalace that made that announcement. I believe she would hold the eggs you seek, but I do not know where such things would be kept. A, a surface human. It explains much, including the mercy you show me now. No drow would do such, I suspect, and I shall not betray you, Carid. I cannot return to Usnatha without endangering you, and myself. Since you are from the surface, I will tell you something I would tell no other. The Spider Queen holds no sway over my heart. I worship Lady Silverhair, Elistre, and I like her, and like her, I believe that my people have strayed from the path. I will remain in the shadows, and seek out others like me. There must be more, I am sure of it. Perhaps my people can yet be saved from themselves. Thank you, Carrot, for your mercy. Perhaps one day I will stand on the surface and see the moon of my Elistre. Until then, farewell. I hope this is not a sign of things to come. We must strive to maintain balance. Oh, come on. Oh, and apparently he was bright enough to actually give us his Drow Puwafi cloak, even though we didn't explicitly ask for it. This cloak belongs to Solifane, the Drow Warrior. It increases the wearer's hide and shadows and move silently abilities. Talented Drow Weavers have woven strands of adamantine into this cloak, thus rendering it useless if exposed to the light, the effect of which will turn the cloak to dust. Incredible bonuses, and huge saving throws versus breath attacks. It definitely would be a, a neat thing to take with us to the surface, but oh well. So hopefully Solophane will successfully go into hiding, and we will be able to return to Fey reclaiming his death. And that would be everything. She probably might be suspicious of the fact that it has no blood on it, well, maybe we could simply say that he wasn't wearing it at the time. That would seem like a reasonable excuse. And to say we murdered him is bad or something suitably horrid. Alright, so let's play on. Ah, I see you carrying his Pawafwe, my darling Veldrin. He... Solifane is dead, yes? Yes, of course he... he is dead. Here, give it to me. Now Fairy is acting a bit oddly. He did say that she used to be from, or hinted at being genuinely in love with him, but oh, the handmaiden saw to that. All love is foolish. You have done well, Veldrin. You have earned a place of honor in this house by serving me well. This shall not stop, naturally. First, I will speak to you alone, Veldrin. Uh-oh. That, that's a problem. I find you useful, Veldrin. You are strong and powerful male, worthy of my bed. You shall remain here for a time and please me. Come. Oh, God. Why is it always coming back to this? I mean, his heart is... It's for Jahira, and he just... He can't give his body to another woman, even if the mission calls for it. But how would he get out of this? He would just say he can't. What do you mean, can't? I command it. Why do you bulk? We can't just simply say we don't want to. And saying we belong to another, and that might not even mean anything in Drow society by the way they act. Maybe we can pass it off as saying, like, we can't can't. You know what I mean? You... You speak of a physical disability of some kind. Surely you jest. <laughs> well, that cannot work. Swearing to love to remain celibate. That sounds like nonsense.
Well, maybe it's not physical, but... Oh. <laughs> we can hint at being a homosexual. We can say that we're an eunuch, which uh, she could disprove. Or we could say we're afflicted with some insidious curse. The thing is, is that curses can be cured. Let's just, um... Carrot's just gonna say he's an eunuch. Yep. Acting awkward, not really expressing desire towards anyone. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> you are not a good liar, Veldrin. Is this a game, hmm? Come to me, my dark lovely one. Come, and I shall fix your little problem. Okay, well... <clears throat> she's not believing us. It's not a game. It's just that I belong to another. All right, he's going to have to go there. What? Who? It it's someone you don't know. Someone I ah uh, from Chedna Sad. A handmaiden has collared you, yes. I am almost tempted to break the ward, but I have no interest in a battle at the moment. Yes, we've been collared. How did you know? You are so perceptive. A pity. I now see why you fled from Chednasad. Soon, dear Veldrin, I shall break your collar and free you from her grasp. Then we can do as I wish. Yeah, right. But I have no time for such a thing now. I shall have to find another male to satisfy me later, when I have the time. For now, there is more for you to do. Oh, that was brief. It is time to introduce you to the matron mother of House Despona, Veldrin. Mother Ardalace is anxious to see the male who has done so much for Usnatha. You will go to the temple and meet myself and Mother Ardalace there. Do not delay, Veldrin. Mother Ardalace wishes to speak with you immediately. Just name what you want. Whew! Well, we dodged the bullet on that one, Jahira. Hope you're happy. Jahira has nothing to say to you. Of course. Damn right. Probably looking at him like, hmm, you better not have. It's like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm all right. I mean, considering how the drow are depicted, it's not as if they wouldn't be unattractive. I mean, they are elves, unless they're generally prone towards being beautiful or at the least pretty. Humans are generally susceptible to that kind of physical charm. But, uh, yeah, they're... Disgusting attitude in society. That just... Carrot finds it absolutely repulsive. I mean, that... And considering his need for romance and passion, that is just... There's nothing to be had there. Oh, yes! Nothing for him. Nothing that he would want. And here we are! Oh, it is you again. Ah, here you are. Matron, this is the male that I spoke to you of, Veldrin. I can see him well enough, fool girl. You think I am blind? Eh, yeah, I see nothing special about him. What fascinates you so? Matron, he is an excellent fighter, and he is the one that rid House Despana of its other problem. This is that one. Illithids, eye tyrants, gnomes, and the mighty Solophane. Are you sure? To me he looks scrawny, and there is something odd. Um, uh-oh. I am positive, Matron, that he could prove of great use to you. Eh, perhaps. Let him prove it, then, if he's become so favored in the eyes of Despana. You, boy, you there, Veldrin, is it? Pay attention. The eye tyrant you killed coming from their so-called city. It was not the right type. I told the girl here which type I required, and that was not the one. But, Matron, I... Silence, girl! I'll not swallow your lies. Speak again and I'll send you into the pits of Loth. Would you like to deal with the Drider again so soon, girl? Now, Veldrin, you have proven yourself as competent. This is good. House Disfana needs competence. A rare commodity when one is surrounded by fools. House Disfana is about to embark on the path to greatness, Veldrin. You can tie yourself tightly to us, whether Loth approves of the successful. But I require something rather rare to begin this path. You might acquire it for me, so I shall give you the task and see if you can earn Despana's favor. I need the blood of one of the neighbor races, Veldrin. 
the noble races only, and the blood from one of their most powerful members. A dangerous task. Your first option is to acquire the blood of an elder orb, most powerful of the eye tyrants. Its blood or its eye. I bade the fool girl do this, but she failed. The Spelljammer Tyrant was supposed to be an elder matron. I swear that is what the spies have reported. They must have exaggerated. Silence! You should have checked it out on yourself, girl. Do you rely solely on this male to be your strength and your wits? No, matron, I do not. Enough. Should you go after the Elder Orb, you will no doubt find one in their tunnels in the southeastern portion of the main caverns. Your other options are to gather blood from the Elder Brain of the Elithid or from a prince of the Kuatoa. Either would be as difficult as the Elder Orb. So it looks like we need the blood from one of three different creatures. The Elder Brain of the Elithid, Mind Flayers, an Elder Orb, uh, Elder uh, Eye of the Beholders, which Minskis admittedly could be dealt with rather easily now that he has the Shield of Bolderan, or a Prince of the Kuatoa, which uh, Garrett never found the Kuatoa nearly as threatening as I hold uh, Beholders or Elithid, but mm, either would be as difficult as the Elder Orb. The Elder Brain is guarded in the Elithid City, although the Southeast Caverns. An old ruin of the Kuatoa lies in the Western Caverns ruled by a mad prince. Go then, Veldrin. Bring me the blood of one of these creatures. House Despana awaits your return, but do not tarry. This is my command. Very well. I shall do my best. Of course you will. Go now and begin your task. Just as I thought. Hmm. Whew, that was close. She definitely thought was suspicious of us for a moment there. But thankfully the dragon's illusion was powerful enough that even a senior handmaiden of Loth was not able to see through it. Hmm. Things could have gone quite badly if that were not the case. What is this guy doing? Not bothering us, it looks like. The path to supremacy for a male Whoa. lies either in the bedchamber or the books of the majors. Okay, we're being interrupted by someone. Hold, friends. I have heard of your prowess as of late. Perhaps you'll have interest in a business proposal of mine. Well, the first thing I'd want to know is who are you? I am Visage, a merchant of some note within the city. Although you, although you will not have heard of me, no doubt, since you are newcomers. No matter. I notice you are well equipped with magic, among other things, so I have assumed you may be interested in purchasing an item I 